Mama dons your cares away I'll do the chicken And the rara Hasn't anyone ever told you that singing is forbidden in this house? That's right, girl. You did quite some time ago. Then why did I hear you singing just now? Maybe because there's a bit of a devil in me. You still refuse to recognize me as your father, don't you? <laughs> you ain't my father. You never will be. I remember old Bertie well, though not always with pleasure. <coughs> If you insist that you have no family here, don't you think you might be happier somewhere else? <laughs> Ooh, ain't we the transparent one now? Does my presence here embarrass you, Governor? Well, I suggest you take it up with your wife. It's at her invitation I'm here, you know. She's been very kind and good to me, and I'm quite grateful to her. She thinks I can be respectable. What's more than I can say for you? Now you listen to me. Yeah, now you you are go. not going to stay here. Listen, Gov, maybe you better listen to me. If you're a good chap and leave me alone, maybe, just maybe, I won't tell Miss Judith what a rotter you really are. Get my meaning, Governor. the meaning of this? A what, love? This portrait. Ooh, ain't she pretty? Who's responsible for bringing it in this house? How should I know? Are you sure you don't know anything about it? No, not me, love. Does it bother you? It should bother you more than it does me. Why? Must I remind you that it was Amanda Harris who drove you from this house? Oh, no, you're wrong about that, Gov. What drove me away was the way you was carrying on with her. I was not carrying on with her. I've seen it with my own eyes. The way you was eyeing her and touching her, pretending to help her. Ain't much escape, so pansy love. Ain't much at all. I'm gonna dance for you. That portrait was brought here to discredit me. I will find out who brought it here and I will make them pay for it. Man, what looks like Barnabas Collins. How do you know it ain't him? Because we went to the place where you killed him and his body is still there. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. That's why I'm taking the trouble to try to explain it to you. You mustn't allow this stranger's presence to annoy you in any way. You are in no danger. Do you understand? I think so. Good. Now I'm going up and see how the patient is doing. Wait a minute. Yes, Charity. I just want to talk to you for a minute. I ain't staying in this room alone with oh, you. Now, you please. open them doors or I'll scream. Now, please. Open them up, I tell you. No, you mustn't be frightened of me. That's what you say. Now listen to me. Listen. You don't have to be frightened of me anymore. It just so happens that I'm as frightened as you are. Wonder if Edward is wrong about that man upstairs. Well, I ain't planning to stay around to find out. I'm leaving this house. Yes, but that won't solve anything. Now look, you know you're the only one who can help us, but you're the one who destroyed that vampire. Now, if anyone can tell us if that man upstairs is the real Barnabas Collins, it's you. You think I'm going to that creature upstairs? You're crazy! Pansy! Pansy. Now, you know you owe it to Judith. You know, she's letting you stay in this house because she likes you. Now, you know that, don't you? Now, I promise you, I won't let anything happen to you. 
What do you want me to do? All I want you to do is just look at the man. Now, you don't have to worry. I'll be standing right beside you. Now, you're just to tell me if that man upstairs is the same Barnabas Collins who was at Collinwood before. Sorry to bother you, but uh, I just thought that we might settle this matter once and for all. I don't understand you. Oh, you will. Just one moment. Now look at him, my dear. Come on, turn around and look at him. And tell me if this man is the real Barnabas Collins. Is this the real Barnabas Collins? This man. Go on. I ain't never seen this man before. Of course you have. You put a wooden stake through his heart. No, this ain't the same man. This ain't the vampire. You're saying that out of fear. No, if it was true, I would say so, but it ain't the same one. And that's the truth. Now, can I go? Yes. Go on. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Do you think he'll feel well enough to join us for dinner tonight? I'll go up and ask him now. Did you have a nice stay in town, Miss Judy? Oh, very pleasant, thank you, Charity. Was... Oh, how lovely. Did you do what I told you to? Come and look. <laughs> Mr. Trask saw the picture a little while ago. Oh? What was his reaction? Oh, he was hopping mad. I wish you could have seen him. Well, I imagine he'll be talking to me about it soon enough. What are you going to tell him? The truth. Then why did you send me to buy the picture? You could have bought it yourself. Because I thought Mr. Tate was more likely to give it to you. Oh, ain't you the crafty one? Charity, people have been underestimating me all my life. My family, my lawyers, and now my husband. But all of that is going to change very soon. I learned a lot while I was going away. And I began to see the truth about certain things. Like what? Like why I was sent to the Rushmore Sanitarium. Why was you? Oh, we'll talk about that some other time. I want to thank you for getting the portrait for me. Oh, it's worth it just to see Mr. Trost's face when he had a look at it. Tell me, what was she like? Oh, sort of fetching, like a picture. He went round telling everybody he was trying to save her soul. I'm sure it was her soul he was interested in. He must have spent hours trying to find it. There was a bit chummy. What a quaint way to put it. Miss Judy. Why do you want that picture? What are you going to do with it? I'm thinking of hanging it in the master bedroom. In with you and Mr. Trask. Yes, why not? Mr. Trask has always taken pride in the souls he's saved. 
I think it's only fitting that the portrait of his latest achievement should hang on our wall. You see what a devoted wife I am? I say what a smart one you are, that's what I see. And I get to like you more and more every day. like me to send for a doctor? No. No, I just want to go to my room. Charity, take Lady Hampshire to her room. I'll be all right if I can, if I can just lie down. You just come along with me now, love. Here we are, then. Why don't you get undressed and get under the covers and I'll go down and fix you some bra? Oh, no, that won't be necessary. Now, you listen to me. I could feel you was trembling when I was helping you up them stairs. And my mum always used to fix me up bras whenever oh, anything wasn't it, quite right. Not Charity. I couldn't possibly eat anything now. I, I... You was frightened. When we found you downstairs. What was it? I don't know. I felt all right, but as soon as I came inside, I, I felt that I was in danger from, from someone in this house. Who could that be? I wish I knew. I can't think of anyone would want to arm you in this house. What's the matter? I can still feel it. It's like a presence that trying to speak to me. Then you should let him. No! No, I mustn't respond. I mustn't let him find me. Who's that, love? I must resist him. Oh, oh you poor thing. You lie down for a bit. Box, I saw in my vision. Don't open it. Charity, please, just leave the room. I've got to find him alone. Who are you talking about? Charity, now? please leave the room. Judith said you weren't feeling well. Oh, I'm all right, Edward. Now, that ain't the truth, love. She's frightened of somebody in the house. Charity, please. Thank you for bringing her up, Charity. You may go now. Edward. Different. It was all so different. Those lights. They were glaring. The furniture. It was the same house, but it was different. Hello, love. Well, am I that much of a shock? Same old pansy. It was all so different. Here now, what's wrong with you? I've seen the future. I've seen it. I've seen the future. If you have seen the future, you don't have to be so balmy about it. What? What did I say? I mean, I got second sight, dearie. I see things all the time, but I don't let him phase me. Not at all. Quentin's gonna go there. 
he's gonna go there unless I stop. Listen, love, we're all going to the future as long as we last. I mean, the future's tomorrow. No, he's going to go. He's going to go there and leave me. But I'm not gonna let him. No, I won't let him. I won't. What's wrong with Mr. Tate? I don't know. He seems most disturbed, as you do. I can't take the blame for Mr. Tate's nervousness, but I believe I'm rather the cause of yours. Well, I actually... know, Miss Fay, that I look like the vampire that you destroyed. But you see, you must believe me that I was the victim of the vampire just as your fiancé was. Only I was luckier, yes. I somehow managed to save my life. So much happened in this house. So much what you can't understand. Like me and Mr. Tate. Should I go after him? Oh, no, no. He's gone up to Quentin. Imagine him saying, Quentin's going to the future. Whatever did he mean by that? I can't imagine. Can you? No, I can't. But I should like to hear more. Hmm? Now go, Charles. You're leaving, love. <laughs> Whatever did you do to him? Oh, I put some sense in his head. Yes, I gave him a lot to think about. <laughs> I guess you think it's pretty odd my coming up here to see you. Oh, yes, I am rather Oh, you can come off it with me, love. I know your secret. You are the one. How? How do you know? Oh, little birdie told me. <laughs> what little birdie? No, I ain't gonna say. You had better say, my dear. Oh, this far, so we... Your birthday? But it is. I looked it up in the family Bible. <sighs> you forgot. Yes, you're quite right. Well, ain't it lucky I'm here to remind you. Let's have a glass of champagne. Well, I don't really think we can do that. I can't take no for an answer. Well, it might be a charming idea, that. Yes, I think I do deserve a uh, glass of champagne. But uh, I get to propose the toast. Oh, I was never any good at it. Okay, but we really must hurry because I do have a very urgent appointment. <laughs> oh, just one glass, love. It wouldn't do to get tiddly, would it? No, it wouldn't. I do love me champagne. One nice thing about being an artiste, I got to drink lots of it. I mean, people do send you bottles of it. Carl, dear. I miss Carl. You do? What about me? You said you'd make the toast. Oh, yes, so I did. Well, uh, let me see. Shall I be clever or merely realistic? <laughs> to the future. To the future. <laughs> Barnabas. Oh, come in, love. You're just in time. Yes, to uh, help me celebrate my birthday. <laughs> Sorry. Now, you really can't refuse. Come on. I, I must. Uh, I am late. Excuse uh, me. Oh, don't worry about him, love. He acts like that all the time. Uh, would you be a gentleman and pour me a bit more champagne? Where's Quentin? Champagne's all gone. Where did he go? Oh, why should I know? You didn't tell me how to keep him here all night. He's got things to do, you know. Has Beth come back? Nobody come in, nobody went out. Then he must be here in the house. Oh, didn't you work out, love, whatever it was you wanted to do? Didn't you work out? I was so open it would. want to say me? I don't know. Well, I got nothing to say to him. Well, you had enough to say to him earlier. I was just you? being nice, that's 
all. I mean, what's wrong with a girl being nice? Won't you come in, my dear? What do you want? Well, I so enjoyed our little glass of champagne that we had together that I thought we should uh, have another little chat. Well, I thought we said everything we had to say to each other. So did I. Then, Beth, would you excuse us? No, don't leave me. I mean, she can stay. It's all right with me. Beth? You really are quite charming. You know that, of course, don't you? It don't matter if I know it. It's one of the people thinks what counts. Well, I find you charming and exquisitely dangerous. Well, if you'll excuse me. One of us sent you here, didn't he, my dear? What are you talking about? Yes, he told you it was my birthday. Admit it. No, I looked it up in the family Bible, like I said. You are not given to Bible reading. Barnabas Collins wants that portrait. And you agreed to get me out of this room, hmm? Uh, you're hurting me! Oh, my dear, I shall do far more than hurt you unless you tell me everything I want to know. Oh, you let go of me! You know all about Barnabas Collins, don't you? You make me so mad. I don't even know why I'm nice to you. Because he wanted you to be. Admit it. What kind of person do you think I am? Now that he ordered me around. You know better than to try and fight me, my dear. I ain't fighting you. I was just trying to turn up when you leave, yes, so he, to speak. He thought up that for you, too, didn't he? He was with me when I thought of coming up here. I don't mind admitting that. Where was he while we were having our little drink? I don't keep tracks of the comings and goings of people in this house. In this case, you know. Don't tell me what I know and what I don't know. All right, dear, I shall tell you. Oh, what he no, was. you won't, mister. Whoever you are. so much to do before I can leave Collingwood. I've just got to keep going, no matter how tired I am. Sorry, I didn't know this room was occupied. Quinn, it's you, it's really you. Yes, it's really me. Oh, I'm so happy you're all right again. And you've beaten that bloody monster at his own vile game. Well, I haven't beaten him yet, and I won't till I go away from Collinwood. You're leaving me? I must. But Toffee hasn't finished with me yet. He won't be until I can go somewhere where he can't find me. When are you leaving? I'll take the early train tomorrow. By tomorrow night, I should be in New York. Mm -hmm. I suppose you won't be coming back here anymore. Oh, not for a long, long time. But then it won't be as pretty as I am now. Yeah. I mean, everyone changes, everyone grows older. I wish you didn't have to go. I have to. Oh, I know that. Can't always get your wish in this life. I wished you and me could fall in love like some ordinary marrying German, get married and settle down and raise some little nippers of our own. To tell you the honest truth, I still wish that, Gwen. I'd even have given up my career for you. You know I'd never ask you to do that. No, of course you wouldn't. Well, I guess you just have to go without me then. Now, what's all this about? Oh, that's the history of Quentin Collins. Yeah, just some letters and pictures, and papers, so forth I was going through to 
See if there was anything worth taking with me. From the looks of you, you can't see very much. Yeah. You were saying you look so tired. Yeah, no wonder. I haven't slept for a couple of nights. But why don't you go to bed now and worry about all this in the morning? There's no time, then. I'll be all right. Just got to keep going. Look here. What do you think of that? Quentin Collins, age 10. That's before he knew what life was all about. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you was a love. <laughs> Can I keep this? Are you sure you want it? Oh, yes. Right. I'll give you a picture of me to take along. If you'd like it. I'd like it. It's really quite nice. Some people might think it's a bit racy, but you just tell them that's Pansy Faye. She was a part of my history, too. And don't you forget that, love. Yes, this, this is all I'm going to get from you tonight, so my smoker won't to bed. Uh. Hey, what's the matter, love? Uh, nothing, I'm all right. I guess the person staying up two nights begins to feel it after a while. You sure that's all it is? Yeah, I'm sure I'm all right. Maybe you should go on to bed too and finish this up in the morning. Oh, I've got to get my life in order now. Well, then promise me you'll take a little nap. Maybe have some brandy. Oh, all right, I promise you. You run upstairs and let me finish. All right. Oh, chair. What's it, love? You, uh, Mind if I come up to say goodbye before I leave? No. I wouldn't mind at all. Good night, Quinn. Good night, Hansel. Oh. Well, old girl, he's really going. And nothing's going to stop him now. Nothing. And no one. going to stop him if he can have his way. Someone. Who is it? Who is it? I got to see what's happening to him. as I said it would be, the minute Quentin Collins fell asleep. Did you bring the wands? Yes, I have them. Just think, Charles, the minute I throw these wands, I shall be started toward the future. <laughs> when I was there, I had such a short glimpse of it, it only whetted my appetite. And now I am voracious for the future. Voracious. But wait a minute. You can't do it here. Yes, here. When the people awake in the morning, this body shall be gone for all time. But it might be dangerous. No, here. Right here, right now. No more time to lose. No time to lose. <gasps> There's no time to lose. The minute Quentin falls asleep, Pitofi will have him. Forever, the minute he falls asleep. Mustn't sleep, mustn't. Too much to do before I leave Collinwood. 
Oh, but maybe just for a minute. Dopey is trying to change bodies with you again. When? Where is he? I don't know where he is. I don't even rightly know what he's planning to do. But I do know when it'll happen. The minute you fall asleep. The minute I lose conscious control of my mind. Right. Yeah. That's when he'll take it over. It means I can't even fall asleep for a second. I'll take you safely away from here. <laughs> How long till your train leaves? Four, four hours. <coughs> Ordinarily, it wouldn't be any trouble. Staying awake for that long would... After not having slept for so many days and nights... I... You got to, love. You just got to. Look, <coughs> I'll stay here with you and help you stay up. You'll see. Quentin. Quentin. Hey, Quentin! I'm all right. Oh, it's me. You frightened me to death. I, I gotta keep walking or talking or something or I'll go out of my skin. Come on, love. Barnabas, in the world? I'm in trouble. Not yet, but it will be if he closes his eyes. Tofi, he started his attack again. That's what Charity says. I seen it. It was horrible. I'm dead tired for sleep. And my train doesn't leave for four hours. Where are your bags? In bedroom, second floor. Charity, will you get them? I'll stay here with Quentin. All right, sure. But mind you, keep an eye on him. He's got a way of drifting off. My music was playing when I came rushing into that theater. And that manager. If every man was going to explode, it was him. Where was you, he says. It ain't no concern of yours, I reply. Only thing what matters to you is that I'm here when I'm supposed to be. And your father ain't never missed a show in our life, and don't you forget it. Quentin. I'm sorry. Uh, my Quentin! I just keep drifting away. You drift away, love, your drift back sadly changed. I, I got an idea. Let's you and me sing. No, I don't feel like singing. Feel you like it or not, you gotta do it. The show must go on. That's the one and only rule there is, love. So let's have a bright chorus. From that new team, Pansy Fay and Quentin Collins. I wanna dance with you. Come on, love, wanna dance your cares away. I'll be so close to you. In your arms, I'll always stay. Come on, love, you gotta keep at it. Our hearts will be in tune. Open your eyes, love, open your eyes. In the room, oh, oh, I want to dance with, with you. you. And once again, I, I want to dance with you. you. How is he? I want to dance like... I'm afraid it can't last much longer. Well, there may be another way of handling this. What's that? Whatever it is concerns Quentin and me. Would the two of you please leave us alone for a moment? We have some decisions we must make before we can even consider another way of handling this problem. Angelique, there's no time for that now. Oh? I think there's time, Barnabas, for what Quentin and I have to discuss. Barnabas. I've decided I'll do what I can to help Quentin. 
Thank you, Angelique. Thank you. What's she going to do? Angelique can perform certain psychic things. I've, I'll attempt to intercept Patoffi's thoughts, divert them from, from Quentin. Can she really do that? I've done it before. I'd better start right away. Charity, will you go into the foyer? Can't I watch? No. No, you cannot. Bobby, look the fool if you go back with nothing. You said you'd do it. You better just do it. Pansy Fay never missed a show in her life. He'll kill me if he comes to. Go on in, you dummy. Quentin ain't got all the time in the world. with my plans once too often, Miss Trask. This time, you will be sorry for 